Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography. Welcome back to the channel and today I have another Lightroom video for you. And once again, I am talking about the changes that Adobe made to Denoise in 14.4. And I can't believe I'm making yet another video about this, but some good comments came up in my last video and I wanted to address them. So in particular, the problem that um, some people are having is that since they changed this to the kind of the one click um, non-destructive denoise. It takes a lot of time if you're trying to batch process um, a whole bunch of images because in the previous version it would work in the background whereas in the current version it takes over Lightroom and uh, you basically can't do anything else at the same time. So people were looking for a solution and after playing around quite a bit I have come up with a way to get it to process in the background. So this is a bit janky, it's something of a hack, um, but it does work. The one downside is you will need Photoshop. Actually, there's two downsides. The one downside is you will need Photoshop, and the second downside is you can't work on the images that are being processed at the same time, but you can work on other images within Lightroom. So I have a bunch of images here, I'm just using these for demonstration purposes, and let's just say I want to De apply denoise to all of these. Before you do anything else, there's one setting that needs to be set. So if I go into the menu and go to catalog settings, and this option here, automatically write changes into XMP, make sure that is set, because otherwise you will lose any changes that you may have already made. This is set by default, but some people turn it off because uh, it used to be the case that this slowed Lightroom down, but that's not really an issue anymore. So make sure this is on. Okay, and we're gonna select all our images, and here is the trick. <laughs> we, what we want to do is open these in Camera Raw. Now, the quickest way to do this um, is to just simply select them all and then just drag them and drop them onto Photoshop. Now, you could also open these from within Bridge, but I found that this is the easiest and quickest way to do this. Um, it is also important that you drag and drop them like I just showed you and that you don't go open with because that will create tiffs for everything. Okay, so now you see we've opened up in Camera Raw and all you have to do is select all. So Command A on the Mac or Control A on the PC. In the settings, scroll down to detail and just hit the denoise button. Okay, so you can see it's applying denoise. So this is the first of two steps. Um, so what this is basically doing is setting the denoise flag in the metadata and the second step, any second now, wait for it, so now it's updating the AI settings. So as you can see, and this is a bit of an understatement, updating AI may take some time. Now if you're raising thousands of images, this could take ages, um, as it is it's saying it's only going to take two minutes, but if I pop back over to Lightroom, you can see I can work away with Lightroom and I can do other things, work on other images and so on. Um, the most important thing here is that you don't edit the images that are currently being processed. So say you have thousands of images and you're working on these, then the way around that problem um, is to just do them in batches. So start off with a small batch that you say you want to work on, let them process and then start processing the rest of your images in the background. So if I just pop back over to Photoshop, see how we're doing, see it's still working away. So through the magic of editing, we'll uh, jump to the end of this. Okay, so Camera Raw has finished updating the AI settings and you can, you can see Denoise is turned on now. Um, so the next thing you want to do, and this is super important, do not click open, just click done. Okay, so what this does is write all the data back to disk so if I jump back over to Lightroom, okay, and I pop into one of these images and I go to the develop module, you can see denoise is not applied. However, what we need to do is just sync the images back. So again, jump back to the develop or jump back to the library module. And if I go down here to my folder, okay, so you need to be in the folders for this, it won't work from collections. Right click on this and go synchronize folder. And you want to make sure this is checked on, scan for metadata updates. Okay, and just hit synchronize, and this will update everything. And now if I go back in and wait for the update, pop over to the develop module, you can see Denoise is on, and the AI does not need to be recalculated. So now we have applied Denoise to all our images, and AI 
is has been updated and it's all been done in the background. I mean, technically it's been done in Photoshop, but you haven't locked Lightroom up. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you can now adjust your denoise settings here. Um, and again, it doesn't have to update anything. I know this is still not going to be good enough for some people out there who still prefer the old method of converting everything to DNGs. If that is the case, if that's you really, really need to be able to convert to DNGs, the only other option I can think of is to use something like um, DxO's Pure Raw. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below, and that might be another solution for you. But if if it's only a case of you want to be able to process lots of images in the background, then this does work. Um, like I said, it's a bit of a hack, but it may solve your problem. I hope you have found this useful and I hope it solves the problem for you, um, for those of you who, um, for whom this was a problem. Um, and if you do like what we're doing here, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.